So then we're back and it is match day. How are we going to top off a 3-0 win away from home at Sunderland? I don't know, but a sold-out CBS Arena is awaiting as we take on Sheffield Wednesday. Our Boxing Day fixture. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas and let's go. Right, off to the ground. Sheffield Wednesday have been really struggling this season since promotion. They should never have sat Darren Moore, to be fair. But they've won three of their past five, so it's probably the worst time to play Sheffield Wednesday. Also, actually, I think it's the right time to thank you lot for the support recently. It's been absolutely fantastic. If you're not subscribed yet, please do. But you lot have just been absolutely brilliant. The comments I've been getting and even people I've been speaking to about these videos, it's just been unbelievable. So, yeah, thank you very, very much. Right then, in the ground, looks like they've got their full allocation. It is a sellout in the home end as well today. Team is out, and I tell you what, it's a bit of a strange one to be fair. He started Matty Godden, I assume that's because he's going to rest Ellis Sims. I just hope we haven't underestimated Sheffield Wednesday. Obviously, like I said, they've won three in the past five. I think it is a strong team. The fact we've got depth on the bench as well is quality. Massive change from last season. <laughs> I mean, one issue I do have is the amount of empty seats. The club are saying it's a sellout. There's so many empty seats behind that goal. Obviously up there is corporate, but they could make so much more money and so many people that wanted to come today that couldn't get tickets. and that's the best chance Sheffield Wednesday have had all game. They've not had any threat against us at all. You can tell they're in the bottom three, considering they've picked up a couple of results. I thought we'd have probably been in, you know, a little bit more pressure from these lot, but, you know, we've been the better side. Here you go, Wednesday resorted to the long throw-ins. Haven't seen one from Milan in a while, and it's a probably a little bit better than that. There you go, one little bar time. You can tell the queues here for a point are absolutely ridiculous considering how many people left before that half time whistle. I mean, like, there's more stewards here than there was people in the ground at half time. Why? Why? I'll be perfectly honest though, I didn't actually expect anything other than what we've had. I think this is a bare minimum, to be honest, to be winning at half time against the side in the bottom three at home. He's going to have to rest Ellis Sims. Hopefully, he plays against Swansea. Ben Sheaf being out injured isn't great, but the midfield looks fine as it is. <laughs> That's the 
it up. Oh! What a stroke for Sakamoto. He just looks confident. He looks so much better. Week after week after week. What a player. Yeah, quick No, they haven't scored. It's the corner again, guys. And these are the corners for celebrating. Just over 25 left to go. No real highlights in the second half at all. Sheffield Wednesday have had a little bit of possession in the final third, but they've not troubled Bradley Collins at all. I'd like a bit of comfort. I'd like a second goal. Sheffield Wednesday are in here. Saved by Collins. Alright, I don't know how Sheffield Wednesday didn't score them. No idea how they didn't just score. After the game, I don't know why. I think he might have whacked one of their players. I'm absolutely clueless why we sent off. But after winning three points, two goals from Sakamoto, and we'll see you at Swansea. 